She's charmed the entire town and outsmarted some stubborn parents. But endearing former child star Haley Mills would find herself in quite the parent trap of her own. She had her hard-earned Oscar stolen from her very home and faced a literal fight for her very life. Welcome, I am your host Nostalgic Nick with Do You Remember? Today we have the turbulent life of one of Disney's brightest stars who nearly burn out several times over and whose past could simply be a movie of its own. If you enjoyed today's video, as I'm sure you will, please give it a thumbs up, it really helps. And subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new deep dive. But now without further ado, let's head on back to Tiger Bay and catch up with Pollyanna. A lot has happened. Who is Haley Mills' twin sister? We know the old trick for child actors in the film and TV game. Get a set of twins to play the same character. Well, Haley Mills pulled off the exact opposite in Disney's The Parent Trap. That's right. While today's youth may know Lindsay Lohan as the big star of that family comedy, the original was all Haley Mills. And in a twist, instead of getting a real set of twins to play both kids, they just had Haley, which was just enough in the eyes of Disney. In fact, Haley was the choice for the role after she had everyone so charmed in and out of Harrington thanks to Pollyanna. Of course I do, but what's that gonna do with it? It didn't break any box office records, but it saw Mills win the very last Academy Juvenile Award ever given. So there wasn't even an audition, more like a family brunch. Mills recalled, quote, I met Walt Disney at the Dorchester Hotel, and my parents were there, and my brother. And we brought our Pekingese puppy along, and it was just a really nice meeting with a lovely, friendly, warm, sweet, genuine human being, who happened to be Walt Disney. And after that, I never did another audition for years. Seriously, her next audition would be something like 20 years later. Afternoon tea time with Walt Disney will sure do that for you. And all state, they certainly picked the right actress for that film. The Parent Trap is one of the greatest. But even during filming, Mills had a very refreshing approach to the entire challenge. As far as she was concerned, playing two different girls from far off parts of the country was exciting. She was all in for this acting challenge. Now, it wasn't totally a one-woman show. Yes, Haley was the twins, but you'll remember scenes where both daughters appeared in the same scene. So how did that work? Well, with a bit of movie magic in the form of a split screen and a stunt double named Susan Henning. It's a tough job being asked to stay silent and vague in such a big role opposite the star, but there was never any bad blood between them. Quite the opposite, actually, Mill shared, quote, We had lots of fun together. She was a good actress, and she was a very good sport, because it was always in the back of her head. We would rehearse the scenes together, and then we would switch places and play opposite parts. If anything, Mills was usually jealous of Henning's appearance, while she played second chair in Parent Trap. Henning would actually end up dating the king himself, Elvis Presley. And we've also got an entire video of that hound dog's romantic partners, so check that one out next. As for her favorite twin, Mills said she'd live as Susan full time if she could. Anything for those cowboy boots and that awesome hairstyle. What happened to Haley Mills' money? By the time she was 14, Mills was a Disney darling. And more shocking, she had the bank account to prove it. No parents skimming from her earnings or any of that nightmare stuff. It wasn't even just Disney. Mills kept a very busy schedule. By the time she was 21, she starred in over a dozen films. But terribly, this took a toll on her body thanks to her battle with bulimia. And quote, I achieved the skeletal weight that I was aiming for. But her body reacted. Her body stopped functioning right. Her skin broke out and she learned a tip from a champion jockey to eat grass to make herself throw up. But at that time, Mills didn't even know the word bulimia. So she suffered in silence. This was mostly in the latter half of her time with Disney. And she shook off those negative feelings by the time of her first pregnancy. But the fruits of her struggles still didn't stay hers for very long. 
So what is certain? Death and taxes. And taxes hit Mills' wallet very hard. Back in 2021, Mills released a memoir called Forever Young, which we will link in the description so check that out. But in it, she revealed the financial nightmare she found herself in. The kind that saw her go from on top of the world to barely scraping by. You see, Mills had a trust fund set up that she would have access to when she was 21. So just imagine her shock when she went to collect the funds and found it mostly gone. That's thanks to an earth-shattering 91% tax on her funds by the British government. She said in her memoir, quote, I felt the blood drain from my face. Her lawyer told her she could contest it, but his final bit of advice was to flat out leave the country. And this whole thing could have been avoided if she repudiated the trust. Mills did fight the good fight and briefly won a 1972 ruling saying she'd already paid taxes on her income. Her case went pretty far in British financial court and made it to a person known as the master of the rolls, Lord Denning. But there was no fairy tale ending to this battle, and Mills wrote in her memoir, quote, The state had plundered my trust like a horde of pirates. The Disney money was all gone. She lost 2 million British pounds or 17 million in today's US money. After securing a life of childhood stardom few even dare to dream of, and doing pretty much everything right, Haley Mills would have to start all over again. What happened to Haley Mills' Oscar? The Academy Juvenile Award, or just the Juvenile Oscar, was a rare and special honor the Academy gave its youngest stars beginning in 1934. The statuette wasn't given out annually, just for special, noteworthy cases. Haley Mills won hers in 1961, thanks to her performance in Pollyanna, and she'd be the very last one to get such a rare distinction. The very first was none other than Shirley Temple. Some other winners include Judy Garland and Mickey Rooney. But in a cruel twist, Mills would not be able to personally receive this incredible award. At the time of the ceremony, she was at boarding school all the way back in England, and her parents wanted her life as normal as possible. And so they kept her from going, which I guess I have to give credit to the dedication, but it meant she couldn't attend this final opportunity, which is a shame because the award was presented by Shirley Temple herself. Instead, Mouseketeer Annette Funicello accepted that award on her behalf. Thankfully, Mills did get her totally unique miniature-sized statuette and brought it back with her to her UK home. But even this victory was too short-lived. I didn't know what to say. I know. Work took her from the UK back stateside to film Disney's show Good Morning Mrs. Bliss. And when she got back home, she found the statue gone, missing, totally off the map. Mills recalled, quote, Of course I turned the house upside down and I asked everybody I could think of and I did everything I could. All she could hope for was that it turned up one day. Because after the Academy awarded her that Oscar, they literally broke the mold. No others could ever be made again. Mills was all too aware of what she'd lost and said, quote, From 1962 on, the next child to get an Oscar got a big full-sized one. When I lost mine, I was desperate. When she decided to settle and asked for a big statue, she was told, quote, It doesn't work like that. Thankfully, some justice came through in the end, and in 2022, the Academy finally saw reason and gave Mills a replacement for the juvenile Oscar she had stolen from her home. It was personally presented to her by the president of the Academy of Motion Pictures and Arts and Sciences, and the photos really are the sweetest thing ever. Mills was a good sport and didn't resent her parents for keeping her from that big ceremony. She reasoned, quote, I think my parents thought it was important that the things were kept in proportion, adding, quote, I totally understand why they decided this is just too much of a good thing. I was only 14 and they really didn't want me to get too full of myself. Mills won this battle, but she'd find herself wishing she focused way less on her career. Who is Haley Mills' partner now? 
Mills' rise to international fame was always a bit unique among child stars. She realized Disney watched after her career like she was, quote, a cherished daughter. It wasn't all charity. She was the moneymaker at that time. So there was a bit of protecting the investment to it. But sometimes work took a bit of precedent over cultivating a solid personal life. So Mills has had a few partners over the decades. Let's see. First was Roy Bolting, one half of a filmmaking duo known as the Bolting Brothers, who made satires in the 50s and 60s. Oh yeah, and they were twin brothers. Hmm, that sounds familiar and fun. <laughs> what gets a bit less fun is the years between them. When the two met at the time of filming The Family Way, Mills was 20 and Roy was 53. They got married five years later and had a child. As far as Mills was concerned, age was just a number. When talking about the three decades between them, she said, quote, I learned that even though there was a great disparity in our ages, we understood each other on a personal, spiritual level. Further explaining her attraction, she added, quote, I always felt that he was emotionally vulnerable. That's one of the reasons I fell in love with him. Part of it also stemmed from her background as a child star. Mills once admitted, quote, I would have liked to take on things that had more of a dramatic element. I did feel that I needed new experiences. Around the time she met Rory, she also craved more independence, and in her mind, the ideal romantic partner for that was an older fella. But at the end of the day, even years after they split up, she insists, quote, I fell in love with a remarkable man. That was it. And the two did stay friends even after the split. So hey, maybe age is just a number. Next up would be Lee Lawson, an actor, director, and writer, which lasted from 1975 until 84. They met at London's West End in A Touch of Spring. They too had a child, and while they were together, Lee took up the job of stepdad to Mills' first son. Finally, Mills found the one in 1997, when she got with Indian actor and writer Ferdo Spamji. This time it was her turn to flip the age difference, as she was 20 years his senior. The pieces just fell into place, as they were meant to. But Haley's life is not without regrets. And if she'd do it all again, she'd give her family life way, way more attention. What happened to Kula Shaker? While Haley Mills was one of the definitive child stars of the era, she herself had two kids. The first was Crispin Mills, and the second was Jason Lawson. Haley's parents navigated a very dangerous minefield of making sure their daughter had a good head on her shoulders through all her fame. But it's a path not everyone succeeds at, even with the best efforts and intentions. Mills thinks she fumbled a bit too. In a 2022 interview, Mills did not mince her words, saying, quote, If there's ever any doubt about taking a job or spending time with your children, do the latter. Getting candid, she added, Looking back now, I didn't. I spent too much time away. They've survived and they're both wonderful men who I'm incredibly proud of, but they didn't have an easy time. But that also meant when coming into their own, they had some breathing room to figure out who they were besides sons of a Disney star. They both ended up in the industry with Jason being a filmmaker and Crispin quite the rock star. <laughs> He's a singer and songwriter for the rock band Kula Shaker, which formed in 1995, and actually just wrapped up a long hiatus in June of 2022. Their sixth studio album has the very short and succinct title, First Congressional Church of Eternal Love and Free Hugs. But seriously, give it a listen, it's not too bad. Does Haley Mills have cancer? Mills kept a very busy schedule even after her Disney fame, and confronted the scary prospect of her first ever audition in 20 years. Her kids built solid careers of their own, she found a very decent life partner, all was going according to plan. But then her life was thrown off course in a way that far outweighed even her decimated income. Mills was quietly diagnosed with cancer back in 2008, just in time for her 62nd birthday. Mills remembered, quote, it was my birthday when I received the news I had breast cancer. What a birthday present. 
They found cancer in both breasts, and I had surgery very quickly. But that wasn't the end of her woes. As part of her treatment, Mills was to undergo chemotherapy. For Mills, what she went through was nothing compared to what followed. She recalled of that hellish experience, quote, I could feel it draining me and killing me. I felt I was dying. In fact, she also said, it made me feel awful. I was more frightened of the chemo than the cancer. And she went through this nightmare almost totally alone. Only her close family knew. She explained, quote, For me, it helped to keep the news to myself. That's the sort of person I am. I know people who needed to tell all their friends, but for me, it was a private thing. And it helped me to get on with life as normally as possible. Kind of like how her parents tried to keep her life as normal as possible, too. Mills kept her darkest hour quiet for just a bit of normalcy. Then she made another huge choice. She opted out of chemotherapy because of how bad it made her feel. She explained, quote, I want to be able to take charge and be involved in this battle. It was about the quality of my life. So she just used alternative treatments and by 2012, she proudly announced she was fully cured. And in true Haley Mills fashion, she's still keeping herself busy. In fact, at 77, she's still working on the big screen and the small screen and the stage. In 2015, she acted alongside her sister, Juliet, not a twin, in the play Legends. All about two washed up aging film stars. Oh man, I wish I could have seen that. And then just this year, she has a film credit in Arthur's Whiskey. And on Amazon, she's in The Great Wheel of Time, an adaptation of the larger than life fantasy books. Of course, sprinkling her Disney magic into the weave. Haley Mills, she put a spell on us and everyone across the pond. Even when the charming outside was masking a terrible, lonely struggle on the inside. One that would pop up again on her years later, to the point that fighting for her life felt like a losing battle. But still, Haley Mills is a star that's shining bright. And her story is one of both struggle and inspiration. So, which was your favorite Disney film of hers? Did you watch The Parent Trap all the time growing up? What's another great role of hers you've enjoyed? Have you caught any of her newer performances? Get in the comments and tell us all things Haley Mills, and also tell us who we should cover next. If you enjoyed this deep dive, please give the video a thumbs up, it really helps. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you never miss a memory. But most importantly, from all of us here at Do You Remember, thanks for watching and let's get together again soon.